Well, I hope everybody's families are healthy and everybody's safe during this COVID-19 kind of epidemic we're having here across the U.S. Uh, during our self-quarantine here, uh, kind of trying to do some work to stay out of the weather, so it brought us down to our greenhouse. So today we're going to start working on our DIY budget irrigation system to put inside your greenhouse. So let's go get a drawing, kind of show you what we'll have planned, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, one thing I've started doing here with Around the Farm, plus with all my other projects, is I've really found that it's been really beneficial to just get a piece of scratch paper, or in my case, I just bought a notebook, and I just keep this around. Anytime I have an idea in my head or something to come up with, I try to put it on paper to kind of get some other basic measurements and basic layouts and kind of a basic goal of what each project is, is supposed to come out with. Uh, it kind of helps keep me focused so I don't kind of wander too far off here. So this is kind of the basic layout of what we're going to have here in the greenhouse. Uh, so here up at the top of the drawing, this is our... Uh, tank that we have out back. This is kind of the skid that I have here. So we have our pump. I'm going to put a filter in it and then a bypass around the filter. So I'm essentially going to run three runs to feed everything down here through the greenhouse. Uh, these are just kind of basic layouts of, of overall square footage of each one of the boxes that we have uh, just to kind of get a basic idea of what we're trying to do here and what we're really trying to accomplish. So this whole irrigation system, my goal is to keep it 100 bucks or less. Uh, so this is my basic sketch. I'll kind of give you a walk through the greenhouse here and then we'll kind of see the supplies that I bought today and we'll go from there. This is what I started with. Now it's going to end up being more than this by the time it's all done. Uh, but so far I bought this landscape drip watering system. Um, what I'm end up going to do with this, so instead of using drip nozzles, I went ahead and I brought these spray nozzles instead. Uh, these are going to cover a 9 inch square or a 9 inch surface area. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping it should be enough and we'll kind of add the fittings as we need it. Uh, right now with the 100 feet of hose, which should be enough to do all of the beds, and this landscape kit and these nozzles, I'm into this right about $45 right now. Um, so again, as I go, I'm going to need more nozzles and kind of get the layout with my wife and what she's planning on planting and things like that. So as we go, I can add on to the system, uh, but that's where I'm starting. So let's kind of start getting this thing laid out and get going. And here's another one of those reasons why it's good to have a sketch. Uh, as I've been going here, initially what I was going to do is I was going to run a, a small diameter tube down the center of each one of these and then have the sprinkler system kind of coming off of each one. And I started thinking to myself, you know what? Every year when I have to run my tiller, it's going to be kind of a pain. I'm going to have to worry about trying to break everything if all of my sprinkler systems are in the way. So what I've kind of changed direction here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this larger diameter tubing and I'm going to run it down one side of each of these boxes and then I'm going to tap the sprinklers coming out on the lines and just give them extra line on each one so as my wife plants seeds or as we have different things growing we can put the sprinkler where we need it but then also when I'm getting ready to till these boxes I can pull the sprinkler out of the way so I don't have to worry about breaking anything so note to self that's why I do like my sketches because plans change things always don't go as you're expecting them and this kind of helps you stay focused on getting things done little side note here for all the DIYers, all the uh, farmers out there, um, reuse anything and everything you possibly can. Uh, most of the stuff I'm reusing for a lot of my projects, just like these clamps for example, these are all clamps from other projects and other things I had lying around the farm. And that's what I'm using to attach all this irrigation piping along these beds. Uh, all the screws that I'm using are all from other projects. Uh, all the wood that's around this right here for my trellis, for my tomatoes. The trellis was an old one that was attached to the house that was falling apart. I chopped it down to make it fit. These boards here were from an old planter box. I even reused the old screws to make this my new hanging cage for my tomatoes. So try to reuse as much as you possibly can. Uh, don't waste anything. It saves money and it's just not as wasteful. So reuse as much as you possibly can for as many of your projects. So it came with this little puncture tool here to install these sprinklers. So what I'm thinking about doing here is since these sprinklers do have a little bit of a lead to them, is if I put one sprinkler here and one sprinkler here, they can kind of come out. So we can plant, kind of like we have now, we can probably plant three jalapenos, peppers, whatever we decide in here. And these sprinklers are supposed to cover a nine inch area. This is a 22 inch box. So they're gonna cover a good area right here of water. So that should be pretty good with both of these in here. Um, we can always extend them, add extra sprinklers later, but let's, uh, let's kind of see how this works.
see once we get everything planted we can kind of make small adjustments as needed but pretty happy so far with what it's looking like so let's continue on down here and we'll get the rest of them done all right so i went ahead and uh discussed this with my wife here on how many sprinklers she wants how she likes to lay everything out she's the one that does all the planting so i'm building this system for her so she's kind of laid these out how she wants the sprinklers done uh, so now we have a total count of what we need to go back to the store and pick up uh, I have a list of some tubing, some extra fittings, a couple other things to finish up here. So, uh, again, my goal is $100 or less. So I will keep a rolling tally of everything as we go here. Uh, the few extra fittings I need, I'm going to take back and exchange. Uh, so hopefully I can give you a real kind of an idea of what this whole system is going to take. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put together a total square footage that this is covering as well. Um, I know sometimes videos, when you're watching people's just videos and you're trying to do it for yourself, it's kind of hard to really gauge it. So... Um, I'll do what I can to really make it a, a real square footage total use, how much water we're actually getting out of here, where it's going to be covering, um, and kind of go from there. Uh, well, thanks for sticking around for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, want to see how the project finished out, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you around.